in the vast tapestry of our galaxy, brimming with frozen gas giants, barren rocky worlds, and endless silence, there is one planet that refuses to conform. That world is K218b. Located over 110 light years away in the Leo constellation, this alien planet orbits a cold red dwarf star. Despite its distance and alien nature, K2218b might be the closest match we've found to Earth and potentially to life beyond our planet. For years, astronomers suspected that something unusual was happening on K218b. Initial observations detected signs of water vapor, followed by hints of carbon-based molecules. But it was the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, its ability to scan planetary atmospheres in unprecedented detail that revealed something that could no longer be dismissed as mere chemistry. What JWST uncovered sent shockwaves through the scientific community, the clearest biosignatures ever detected on an alien planet, gases that, on Earth, are only produced by life. This is no longer speculation. This is hard data. And it may be the moment we finally admit we were never alone. K21ATB is what scientists classify as a high sea in world. Hybrid between a water-covered planet and one with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. It's significantly larger than Earth, with about 2.6 times Earth's radius and roughly 8.6 times its mass. What makes it especially compelling is its position at the edge of its star's habitable zone. It's a region where conditions could allow liquid water to exist. Unlike Mars, which is dry and rocky, or Jupiter, a scorching gas giant, K218b is likely cloaked in a vast global ocean, protected by a thick hydrogen atmosphere. This natural shield keeps temperatures mild and deflects harmful radiation. JWST's Analysis of the planet's atmosphere revealed not only the presence of water vapor, but also traces of carbon dioxide and methane, key ingredients for organic life. When found together in a hydrogen-rich environment, these gases begin to paint a picture that's difficult to dismiss, one that strongly hints at biological processes occurring beneath the waves. But then came a truly startling discovery. In 2025, New data from Webb's mid-infrared instrument MIRI revealed not just the usual carbon-bearing molecules, but something far rarer, dimethyl sulfide DMs. On Earth, this compound is almost exclusively produced by living organisms, particularly marine phytoplankton. Detecting DMs in an alien atmosphere is akin to finding a trail of oxygen on Mars. It's a clear sign that chemistry alone is no longer the answer. Biology may be knocking, even more astonishing. The same study detected dimethyl disulfide DMDs. A more complex molecule also linked to microbial activity in Earth's oceans. The appearance of these compounds, alongside water vapor and carbon-based gases, has led scientists like Cambridge astrophysicist Dr. Niku Madhusudan to suggest that K218TB may be teeming with microscopic alien life. These aren't speculative headlines. Their statistically significant molecular signatures, verified and consistent, prompting the scientific community to seriously consider that this ocean world might truly be alive. So, what kind of life could exist on K218b? If the dimethyl sulfide is indeed produced by living organisms, scientists believe the most plausible explanation is phytoplankton-like life tiny, floating microorganisms that might use the dim red light of their cool sun to perform a type. A photosynthesis. However, some researchers propose even more complex scenarios. They imagine filter-feeding creatures reminiscent of Earth's early multicellular organisms, drifting through nutrient-rich waters and leaving behind chemical trails. Others speculate about alien analogs to flying fish organisms that may have evolved under conditions of low gravity and high pressure, potentially capable of limited movement through the atmosphere. In essence, K218b may not resemble modern Earth, but Earth as it was three to four billion years ago when life was just beginning to stir in its oceans. Just as early Earth life gradually altered our planet's atmosphere, the same transformation may be happening on K218b and we could be witnessing it in real time. As the evidence builds, K, pressing new debate has emerged. If K218b is home to life, should we try to communicate with it? Some in the scientific community say absolutely not. 
Physicist Mark Buchanan warns that sending signals to an unknown biosphere could expose Earth to a civilization we are not prepared to encounter or worse, disrupt a delicate ecosystem with our interference. Ethical philosopher Dr. Anthony Milligan argues that we have a moral responsibility to proceed with caution, not only for our safety but for the preservation of alien life. On the other hand, thinkers like Avi Loeb argue that if an intelligent Civilization exists on K218b. They would have already noticed us through our emissions and may not even consider us significant. Regardless of perspective, one fact remains. A message sent from Earth would take 120 years to reach K218b. And another 122 return. For now, we wait. But the data keeps coming. The molecules are there. The ocean is likely real. And the notion that humanity is alone in the universe is beginning to crumble with K218 billion in the scientific spotlight. Global priorities are subtly shifting. While our current propulsion technologies are nowhere near capable of reaching this ocean world within a human lifetime, plans are in motion to significantly ramp up observation. NASA is accelerating development of next-generation observatories, like LAVOR and HABOX, both specifically designed to analyze exoplanet atmospheres for signs of life. The European Space Agency and China's CNSA are also proposing deep space exoplanet missions. Beyond telescopic observation, the concept of launching interstellar probes is gaining momentum. Projects like Breakthrough Starshot propose sending microscopic spacecraft at 20% the speed of light using laser propulsion and solar sails. If successful, such a probe could reach K218b in approximately 500 years a long journey for us but a blink in cosmic time. While humanity may never set foot on its shores, we may yet send a message and possibly receive one in return. The scientific implications of potential biosignatures on K218b are profound, but the cultural and philosophical impact may be even greater. Around the globe, religious leaders, spiritual thinkers, and philosophers are interpreting the discovery through different lenses. Some see it as confirmation that life is not unique to Earth, but part of a grand cosmic design a universe built. For life, not loneliness. Others respond with unease, fear, or denial, insisting that humanity isn't ready for such a revelation. Social media is alight with hashtags. Like hashtag K2 Alive and hashtag Ocean World and film studios are already developing documentaries. And fictionalized accounts... Governments remain cautious, issuing measured statements that balance curiosity with scientific rigor. Yet beneath the surface, a quiet transformation is underway. For perhaps the first time, humanity is unified not by fear, but by wonder. We are no longer merely explorers. We are being observed in return, as interest in K218b continues to rise. So does concern over planetary protection ethics not for Earth, but for the alien biosphere. International panels are forming to advocate for a new category of exoplanets, exobiological sanctuaries. These would be planets where signs of life have been detected and which must be studied only from a distance to avoid contamination. Astrobiologist Dr. Monica Vidari argues that if K218b truly harbors life, it has evolved independently for billions of years and humanity has no moral right to interfere. Proposals have been made to establish a kind of interstellar no-fly zone, regulating future probe trajectories and minimizing emissions. These discussions reflect a deeper awareness. Just because we can explore doesn't mean we should invade. Even if the oceans of K218b are silent now, even if the life is microbial, it remains the first confirmed kin we have found in the universe. And if we are wise... We will learn to listen before we act. Perhaps the most profound lesson K218b offers isn't about aliens at all, it's about us. Here lies a planet that may contain oceans, clouds, and primitive life, just as Earth once did, long before humans emerged. In many ways, observing K218b is like gazing into our own ancient past. It reminds us of the fragility of life, the rarity of the right conditions, and the preciousness of our own world. Some scientists believe this planet may help us understand how life begins and evolves, offering insights to protect our own biosphere. 
Others view this moment as a convergence of science, faith, and awe turning point where life is no longer. The exception, but the expectation. In the stillness of space, we may have found not a stranger, but a reflection of ourselves. K2-18b is no longer just a remote coordinate in the cosmos. It is no longer a number in a database or a faint dot on a star chart. It has become a window into another possibility, place that, against all odds, whispers the same molecular secrets as our own living planet. And in that whisper, something fundamental has shifted. For decades, we asked, are we alone? But now with the James Webb Space Telescope uncovering signs of water, methane, carbon dioxide, and potentially even the molecular fingerprints of alien life, the question is no longer about belief, it is about confirmation.